Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you for the committee to give me such an opportunity to introduce our transportable single iron clock. I'm so excited when I'm standing here, but it's a it's, uh, little pity that I can't transport this clock with me to give you an exhibition uh, in this beautiful city. Um, so I will introduce our, our clock as in it's here at possible. My, my talk contains four sections. First, let's go to the first, go to the part one. And uh, with the great improve, improvement, development of the optic clocks, this kind of a high precision, ultra-speed precision clock offer new opportunity, possibilities to do high, high precision test in various fields. And, uh, and it's necessary to develop a uh, um, applicable optical clock to do this things. And uh, I think it's real, uh, it's feasible to develop a port transportable clock in the first stage. Um, uh, we think there are three, key fe three features should be with the transportable clock. First, it, it should be it should be compact and transportable, and then it's stable and robust, and then it should be easy and to maintain and operation. So, um, to achieve this goal, uh, it should be divided into three steps, and the the, the work I will introduce later is in the first uh, stage. So. How about the performance of this transportable portable clock? Uh, it should be with, I think it should be with a uh, systematic uncertainty at the, at the level of one part in 10 to 17. And uh, it's with uh, instability at the one part in 10 to 14 square root tau. And this performance is not very good compared with the best clocks now. But we think it's not too bad to, because it's uh, at least uh, an order of magnitude better than the Sasu fountain clock. Um, finally, uh, if, in fact, there are many projects uh, are proposed uh, by in worldwide. Uh, the f famous one is the uh, space optical clock supported by the European s s the engine, Space Agency. Uh, they are aiming at uh, developing a uh, uh, high precision portable clock with, with, with uh, atoms of uh, strontium or ytterbium uh, trapped in the night disks. So uh, they have built they have built a uh, a uh, transportable clock with the structure trapped in Netflix. Uh, th th this, this, their setup is enclosed uh, with with the volume less than two cubic meters, uh, excluding the electronics. And their their systematic uncertainty is at the level is about uh, seven fourteen ten to fifteen. So how about our scheme? Uh, compared with the particles they choose in Europe, Europe, our we are favoring at this kind of particle, a single trap, castle iron trapped in power trap, because um, we have a simple scheme. This kind of clock, clock has a simple scheme of the clock system, especially the simple simple scheme of uh, guide lasers. Uh, you can see the, there are four lasers for Doppler cooling, repumping, quenching, and the core clock problem. And moreover, this kind of clock has uh, excellent, uh, excellent performance. It has been proved uh, in experiment uh, recently. Then let's, let's take a look at this portable clock. Uh, there are five modules in this clock system, and uh, the connections between them are provided by single-mode uh, polarization maintaining fibers. 
and uh, uh, this kind of design ensures better reliability and uh, operation and to to maintain it. And uh, we think this this design, this kind of design, it, it, it's it, this performance is 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 essential for the long term operation for a portable clock. Uh, and the picture on the right shows the design effect. If and it was a volume about half a cubic meter. The uh, the, this portable clock is fully in operation in our laboratories now. The, uh, the, this picture shows, uh, the, shows uh, the, it's before and after packing. Um, ex apart from the electro electronics, its volume is about half a cubic meter. Uh, this picture shows some details about the, the trapping and the laser cooling. A miniature Rain and the trap is fixed in the compact uh, vacuum system, vacuum chamber, and uh, a three in one URE cavity is employed for laser cooling, repumping, and quenching. Mm, the picture at the bottom shows the the flow resistance single of a sing, trapped single arm. This. So, since the clock laser is is uh, is is very important in a clock system, I have to mention it in detail. Uh, to get a better performance on um, vibration isolation, the shape of this cavity and uh, the supporting weight are simulation simulated and uh, optimized uh, by the method of, of bilateral light element analysis. Then a uh, shield of uh, thermal, thermal shield and a uh, temperature controlled vacuum chamber is employed. Then this device and the compact optical components are placed on the small vibration isolation platform. And then all of them are enclosed in a, in a box to get a better tem temperature performance. Mm -hmm. After the study laser is knocked to the, this ultra-stable cavity, uh, the line width is measured by about one hertz uh, from the between single. The, um, since this clock is, oper is uh, op for operational in our lab, so we want to know how about the performance of it. There are Five pairs of demon components at the weight applied to the magnetic field, and the three pairs and, and the clock, the prob, probe laser uh, time should be changed according to different requirements in, in measurements, and uh, it induces a full real limit line length about 25 hertz with the pass time of. Of uh, at uh, four, for forty milliseconds, uh, three three pairs of Zeeman components are chosen uh, for locking uh, because this this method can uh, can conceal the three kind of frequency shift uh, at uh, but at at um, for better performance they are linear Zeeman shift, Kolber shift, and the tensor part of the stack shift. Uh, and these three pairs of Zeeman components are shown by cut in red uh, and green and blue. Then, uh, since we have only one set of portable clock in our lab, so the instability is measured by the by a clock self comparison. Um, and the, the when the pulse time it's 20 milliseconds. The stability is 3.4 parts in 10 to 14 square root tau. And this performance is, we have to admit that this performance is not very good. Um, uh, there is a little gap between it and the uh, limit of a quantum projection 
noise. Um, we think uh, it's meant due to the short-term sh uh, sh short instability of the coke laser, and we are working on this problem. Uh, then we evaluate the systematic sh shift of this clock, uh, and it uh, show in detail in this table. Um, the total shift is more than three three hundred uh, millihertz. And the related uh, uncertainty is about uh, is 7.7 .7 parts in 10 to 17. Mm, since the left time is not too much, I have to um, talk about only two, two, two items, two source of shift uh, that they are shown in blue. First, let, uh, let, me talk, let us talk about the electric quadruple shift. Uh, the, this shift of each sub energy sub level is shown in, the, in this formula. And uh, when three, the selected three pairs of demon components is employed, uh, they can consider each, this shift can consider the energy value of this shift uh, can consider. Um, so, as a conservative scheme, we can evaluate the COM factor uh, show in AEQ and uh, the related uh, electrocodable shift is zero with uh, uh, uncertainty of 31 millihertz. Let, let us talk about the black body radiation stack shift. And this evaluation of a black BBR shift is really a complication, uh, complication because the radio frequency uh, sh sh field can uh, will hit the trap component, uh, especially on, for, for on the dielectrics, especially uh, on the ceramic. So. It should be compared with the exp experimental measurement um, by a uh, uh, infrared camera. Uh, this comparison is, is very important and uh, is essential because there are some difference between the ideal model and the practic practical situation. For example, the fabrication tolerance and the parameter of the materials and the surface character characters of the surface. So this, this comparison is very important and it's, it's, it's essential. And uh, the total black PBR stack shift is evaluated to be about, is measured to be about uh, uh, more than 300 mini hertz with uh, uncertainty of uh, 5.2 mini hertz. Okay, and let's Go to the summary and the prospect. In summary, <clears throat> we have shown a portable clock with a packing size about half a cubic meter, and then this its performance and with a systematic uncertainty at the 7.7 .7 parts in 10 to 7, 70, and its instability is measured by the self, -com self comparison. Uh, it's uh, about 3.4 part in 10 to 14 square root tau with the pass time at 20 milliseconds. Um, of course, there are too much room for improvement in this clock, and uh, there are too much work to be done in the near future, because what we need is a really a uh, portable clock. It must be usable and uh, with uh, easy, easy maintenance in the near future. At last, at last, let me please allow me to introduce our team in HWIPM. Uh, in addition to the transportable clock, we are also conducting our research on the quantum logic clock with uh, 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 simple, uh, sim simple called uh, alumina by a uh, single cation ion. There are nine pers persons in our group. And the average age of our team is less than 30 years old. 
So it's a young team with full energy. So if you are interested, please contact with us. Thank you. Thank you very much.